Anyway, let's talk about Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's legacy. Mr. Benjamin Nsia is the Deputy Communications Director of the Convention People's Party. Ben, good morning. How oh, are you doing? As you like to sorry. call yourself, <laughs> comrade, comrade, how are you doing this you morning? Well, comrade. How are you, too? Charlie, alive and well. <clears throat> Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, who was he to the CPP? Kwame Nkrumah was a leader of vision and uh, a leader of uh, good character mm. uh, to the good people of Ghana, not only to the CPP. Mm. That's how we see him. He had that vision mm -hmm. uh, that he could make Ghana a better place, okay. uh, improving the welfare of <clears throat> every Ghanaian, mm. reducing poverty, mm. and then creating opportunities for anyone who lived in, in the then Ghana. Mm. So basically, we look at him as a father for all figure okay. with that vision of making Ghana a better place. Mm. That's how we see Nkrumah. Today is Nkrumah Memorial Day, or if you like, uh, Saturday was Nkrumah Memorial Day transposed to today. Uh, I know that the CPP has had a few issues with how the nomenclature had been put. Uh, it used to be Founders Day, Nkrumah Memorial Day. What, how does the CPP look at what's happening? We, we still observe it as uh, a Founders Day. Founders uh, Day. Yeah, because is it with the S apostrophe, apostrophe, apostrophe S? Because, because Nkrumah is the founder of Ghana. Okay. Uh, historically. Is he? He's, he's the one, right? He's, he's the founder, and CPP has agreed mm. to give him that accolade as the founder of this republic. But there were people who helped him to achieve he, attaining. Those who helped him said, they, those who he used the machinery of the CPP, and we, the CPP, are saying that Nkrumah is the founder. So people who did not support the NLM, the UGCC, uh, who did not support him then, should not claim today that they, they supported the founding of Ghana. The founding of Ghana was a declared, was declared in 1953 mm. by an act of parliament, which no one, none of them, the NLM was not there, the UGCC was not there. So we see people are saying Nkrumah is the founder of Ghana, it's simple. Well, but be between the declaration of a name to call, to call a nation by a name, yeah. and the work that actually brings to light that achievement, there are a lot of people who were, I mean, if you had a position, Opposition will put you on the toes to deliver. So the opposition helped you to, to deliver what you desired. <laughs> correct? Yeah, it, it's correct that opposition mm. may have helped mm. in a way. Mm. But uh, historical accounts also show that the opposition then did not support our, our independent struggle. They were mm. against it, uh, presenting uh, letters and articles to the then queen mm. that we were not ready. Mm. But Nkrumah said, no, independent now. So CPP recognizes Nkrumah as the founder, and, and, and mm. that is it. Let's look at achievements. Uh, we always mention the Tama Motorway, uh, Tema itself, the harbor, so many other things. Now, give us, if you like, a compendium of what you remember to be Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's uh, achievements. There are many, many legacies of, of such of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. There are many achievements. And till date, we've seen many of them, as you've mentioned earlier. But you see, uh, before we mention the achievements of Osaji, we have to actually go into history okay. and look at, because before you, 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 you start to develop a people mm. or a country, mm. you look at your historical background, how your people were living, and then just suppose how they were living into mm. bringing a plan that can help them going forward. Okay. Now, if you look at uh, Nkrumah's dream, of, of the Ghanaian dream, mm. he realized that when he took over, we had a colonial architecture right. economically. Right. Uh, we realized that we were an agrarian economy where we supply raw materials mm. to our so-called colonial masters. Okay. Now, he wanted to change that. And in changing that, he needed to put up pragmatic measures that could industrialize us mm. and make us better people. Mm. Right? In, in so doing, the famous one, which we all know, aside the many industries, is a plan, a vision, mm. which is called the, the, the seven-year, even though we had the five-year, but the seven-year development plan was a vision which, if realized by 1970, Ghana would have been a better place mm. compared to today. Now, let's mention some of these achievements in this uh, let me, uh, import industrialization uh, strategy. Uh, now, if you look at Nkrumah's achievement, how do we do away with this uh, import, import or let, let's say, uh, dependence on foreign goods. Mm. We have to industrialize. Now, how do we industrialize? We have to industrialize based on the needs of the people. So let's, for example, the, the, let's... The government says one, one district, one factory. You see, the one district, one factory is a good policy. Mm. An, and, but if you look at it carefully, now, it is not coordinated across the other policies of the government. For example, government has a, a policy called, uh, policy on rural and industrializing plant is mm. it paid they, mm. they call it paid, paid, yeah, paid, paid program, paid program. Mm. 
Now, government has uh, one one factory. Government has uh, some rural development agriculture. One, uh, uh, one, one village, one dam, and right. then there's one uh, for food and jobs. planting for food and jobs. Food. Now, all these must be coordinated into a single policy whereby one can link to the other. For example, let's look at Nkrumah's regime. When we talk of the creating of the jute factory in Kumasi, mm. we realize that we're exporting cocoa. Right. In exporting cocoa, we needed the juice sacks. We couldn't have been importing juice sacks from other countries. We needed them in this country. So Nkrumah says, let's go into the production of jute mm. sacks in Kumasi. Mm. Now let's look at the Pal Palugu factory. Mm -hmm. Nkrumah realized that, no, if, if you look at Ghana carefully then, we had a system where when we, in the bumper season, tomatoes were in abundance. Right. right. In the lean season, now the prices of tomatoes go high. So what do we do? We needed a factory in Palugu where tomatoes were, were produced in larger mm -hmm. quantities. Mm -hmm. We needed another in uh, Wanchi where they were also producing a, a, a larger quantities so that at any time, mm -hmm. the prices of tomatoes mm -hmm. could be at the same level. So we Nkrumah initiated the, the factory of uh, the, the tomato factory uh, in uh, the tomato factory in Palugu, in, in Palugu okay. and one in Wanchi. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at uh, another factory like uh, the Bonsa Thai factory mm -hmm. in a country where we still import cars. Mm -hmm. We needed we needed right. ties, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We needed ties to fix these cars. Mm -hmm. What did Nkrumah do? Nkrumah said, now let's get a Bonsa Thai factory mm -hmm. to solve this particular problem. Okay. And that has been the dream of, of, of a country called Ghana. We, 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 if you look at all the policies of Nkrumah, all the factories that Nkrumah built, right. these factories were built in coordinating to solving the problem and creating jobs for the people. Okay. Most and, of the and, and you say this present government is getting that wrong, that coordination wrong. Wrong, wrong. Ask that now. We, we, for but, example, but why hasn't a, a CPP as an opposition told government that, look, this is how we think you should prosecute this agenda rather than wait for Nkrumah Memorial Day to be saying this? I think there are many days and many a times CPP has issued statements on most of these policies uh, uh, championed by this current government. Mm. I think one this one factory, we've made it clear. Mm -hmm. I, I heard you earlier mention uh, someone like Dr. Nimoy Thompson. Right. He has come out clear, and he's an Nkrumah, and a CP member mm -hmm. who has come out clear to, mm -hmm. to tell Ghanaians that the initiative by this government in relation to other initiatives okay. are not coordinated mm -hmm. enough to, to give us that dream a Ghanaian wants. Okay. Right? So we've been making but, uh, pronouncements on some of these issues. Has, has not listened to it? Go government has not listened. Even for, for let's say, for... Normally, people say Nkrumah uh, uh, wanted a state-led uh, industrialization, mm. right? Import substitution industrialization. Right. Now, this government says one, district, one factory is going to be led by a private sector, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the question is, how much or how many people can this private sector, how much or how much investment mm. will a private sector put in place to employ almost 5,000 people? Okay. Right in this current dispensation, I've heard many a uh, time that the Bank of Ghana, and many financial experts have come out to say that uh, there's inadequate credit in the system, mm. right? Mm. Because government itself is crowding out the market, okay? Right? Because government itself is borrowing from uh, the government itself is borrowing from the domestic market mm. because of that, the private equity that can also go into the market to borrow to mm. fund its own activities is not able to do it. Now this tells you that. One district, one factory may not see uh, the full mm. uh, benefit of after its implementation, right? Okay, okay. So the state, we are saying that the state can lead it. And mm. we, we have many examples of state-led enterprise that are performing. Re recently, uh, there was the launch of SIGA um, to take over from the Diversity Implementation Committee and and also another body of, of government to yeah. manage our state-owned enterprise. Enterprises. We're told there are 44 of them, yeah. most of which were created by the Nkrumah yeah. government. Yeah. Are you satisfied with the how, how our state-owned enterprises have been managed? You, you have to look at it carefully. I'm satisfied with some of them, not all. For example, we have uh, 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 Goyle, mm. state and private equity. Mm. It, Goyle is performing well. We have GCB, it mm. is performing well. Uh, we have uh, Cocoa Board with all its challenges. Okay. It's performing well. Now, we have many of our state-led industries that are performing well, even though we have others that are also incurring liabilities okay. to the books of the country. Mm. Now, the issue of 
state-owned enterprise performing or not performing depends on people who are managing them. Okay. Basically, that is it. So, as are, a, we, are we getting the management right? If you are not getting the management right, that's why we voted for a government. The government's duty is to make sure that the management goes right. Let's look at Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's leadership style. Some say he was a dictator clothed in a, a socialist garment and trying to be democratic at the same time. Was Nkrumah really a dictator? He, 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 he couldn't have been. He will never. He was not a, a dictator. So the Preventive uh, Detention Act that, for example, he pushed out there to, uh, if you badmouth him, you are picked up and dealt with, that was dictatorial, wasn't it? It wasn't. What now, was it? Now, now, let's Complimentary? Maybe to keep <laughs> the security situations then. Now let's look at why the PDA, and people shout that Nkrumah brought PDA, which uh, made him a dictator. Mm. Now, in a country then, you know, Nkrumah had the toughest opposition. In a country then where bombs were thrown anyhow. In a country there where, I think, last week I watched a program on, or some months ago I watched a program on TV3 where they showed a, a woman mm. who is ha having a, a challenge now, currently, because okay. of the bomb thrown mm. at the Polo Park. Mm. Now, if there are bombs thrown at the president, assassination attempts, mm. he needed that option. Imagine he was the one. Mm -hmm. that people attempted killing you, people attempted shooting you, mm -hmm. people attempted throwing bombs and killing innocent people. Mm -hmm. What would you have done? The intelligentsia were not sharp enough to uh, be picking intel before these things happened? Oh, you know. So, so that we needed a law to pick people and throw them behind bars I, 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 instead of getting the intelligentsia to deal with it. Okay. Are you saying that America passing the Terrorism Act has no intelligence in that in the they are big CIA, they are big FBI, they are big passing intelligence, uh, the, the terrorism act, prosecuting people, mm. uh, anyhow. Are mm. you saying they don't have that, that intelligence? No. But bear in mind, let, let mm. me come to that issue. You see, in the 1960s, where the bombs were thrown, mm. we're moving from a colonial independent state where we are we're now restructuring our security setup because okay. the security setup was built on the foreign, or let me say the colonial master's view of how security should be done. So we're moving from that setup. So there were lapses then. Okay. So we needed that PDA to keep that problem. Mm -hmm. And I think PDA did well. Because after the PDA was introduced, most of these assassination attempts, bombs attempts, mm -hmm. were not there until the coup happened in 1966. Mm -hmm. Right? So could, the PDA... Could, could, could it be said that, well, the anger that was boiling in the people at the time when the PDA was, was pushed in there, culminated and bundled up into what became the 1966 school that overthrew uh, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah on July 24. <laughs> June 20, Fe February, February 24. February 24. Sorry, February All right. 24. Now, uh, if you say the people, I don't know those particular people. I think the coup was done by uh, a military, okay. right? Not the people. It was not a people-led right, coup. The police, and the police, the yeah. police yeah. and the military by J.K. Halley and then Ankara and Co. Right. Not the people. So mm. because they, there's a difference between a civil revolt by okay. the people mm. and the military mm. revolt. It was a military coup, which the, did the, the military men are citizens too, aren't they? They are citizens. Right. Yes, they are citizens. So they are the people. But They're but but they are citizens. But if you look at our architecture of government, they ought they they shouldn't have been those to do that revolution. But Let's say the military did that, uh, the coup, mm. uh, because they didn't understand where Nkrumah wanted to take us to. Okay. And two, evidence shows, right, that the coup was sponsored by Fort Westerners, because the Westerners also thought that where Nkrumah was going, Nkrumah was, was uh, a, 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 an independent-minded person mm. who was taking the whole of Africa okay. from how the... Hmm. Great. We've learned a lot from Nkrumah. What's the way forward? If, if Nkrumah had been alive today, what would he have told this present government in, in prosecuting the governor's agenda? Okay, now the governor's agenda, any government that wants to develop, and if you look at Nkrumah's uh, view of development, development must be participatory, mm. right? Uh, if you take this current government's, uh, I think, uh, agenda for jobs or something, they call it Ghana Beyond Aid. Mm. Now, if you look at Ghana Beyond Aid carefully, mm -hmm. they tell us that Ghana Beyond Aid is a vision for this country. Okay. But if you go into those who were part of the Ghana Beyond Aid, you realize that most of them were persons of government. Okay. Right? Now, there are opposition parties in Ghana. The CPP is there, the NDC, there, the PPP is there. Now, a vision for a country must mm. consult all stakeholders okay. in the governance process mm. so that 
going forward, any government that comes in, right, will know that I was part of that Ghana Beyond Aid agenda. But a government comes and says Ghana Beyond Aid without consulting, without without much participatory approach to that agenda. That agenda will fail. So our advice. Perhaps you are just poo pooing everything the government brings. That's why the government is not coming to you. We you we we CPP, right? Don't actually poo poo. We critique for the betterment of Mother Ghana, right? Mm. Now doing it. But CPP is not alone. CPP. There's NDC. There's PPP. There's PNC. If the others are poo pooing and you alone are not poo pooing, but, but, but Hughes, you know one thing. The government. You, you know one thing. No, tell me. When when we go in 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 those. For example, IPAC, when okay. we go for policy initiation or policy uh, making, formulation at the various level, we bring out the genuineness of us. We don't okay. actually sit and talk like the way we sit on TV and talk. Okay. They are genuine. So they, you, they are are you guys we are, are not deceiving. We are not deceiving. We are not deceiving. You guys are deceiving. We are, we are, people we are not deceiving. Coming on air to say everything is not right, we, no. and then you go into IPAC actually. And you CPP and doesn't. Go. CPP doesn't come on air to say everything is not right. Oh, there are okay. many instances that with with. with We've uh, applauded this government mm. for the good things it's doing. Uh, but we think that uh, there are many of the things this government is doing that are not consultative enough, okay. that other parties were not brought on board. Mm. Now, I think you get other parties on board to also share their view of okay. how things should be done. Mm. Uh, the, the going forward, you not get a better, a better policy out, out there. Mm. Now, wrap, if, wrap if, up for me. I mean, yeah. Wrapping up, mm. I heard you mention that uh, a vision. Mm. I think it is about time Ghana had a plan, okay. right? And in so doing, if you look at the the National Planning Commission under the Seven Year Development Plan, mm. Kruma had a National Planning Commission, a State Planning Commission, and State Management okay. at various levels. Because in order to achieve, regardless of any political party that comes into power, there is a particular vision we must all achieve, right? Right. Mm. And I think the previous government did well by uh, instituting some uh, the led by uh, Dr. Nimoy oh, Thompson, mm. by bringing out the plan. And I think if you read, actually look at that plan, mm. the plan was consultative enough because most of the technocrats were involved in it. Mm. I don't know why this current government doesn't want to go by it, mm. if this current government means well for the people of Ghana. So these are some of the critique we give mm. to this government. And this government but doesn't what, understand. What do you say in that matter? What do you say to an NDPC that puts together a 40-year development plan and before its uh, initiation, they all resign and block. You created a plan, mm -hmm. and I may need you to help me to push the plan, but you bring me a letter saying you are all resigning and block. It's How do you expect me to, to, to understand and know and, and get the same sense and feeling that you got when we are writing this? At least I need you to help me in the implementation process, correct? That's, that, it, it may be true, but let's look at, there, are, there may be other things behind the scene that's why most of them resigned okay using your word envelope <gasps> right but what was the process of talking like consulting like talking mm. to them mm. maybe Hughes, you or myself may say oh i'm resigning but a government may come and say no uh, uh ben you shouldn't resign mm. let's look at it because it's for ghana okay right okay thank you Mr. Benjamin Insia is the National Deputy Communications Director of the Convention People's Party. And he's been here. We're talking about uh, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah 